started the city. They took all the food. They poisoned the water. Napoleon soldiers came. They started drinking water. What happened? Many of them had to die of poison. Those who survived had to pass by a river name at escape. Many of them had to fall in the river. So we are saying it was at home people rose up against Napoleon. So it was the continental system that led to the Moscow campaign, which finally led to the downfall of Napoleon Bonaparte. A great star among all stars started collapsing. That is Napoleon Bonaparte, a man who once said, everything is possible. Only the word impossible is written by fools in the books of dictionary. A man who said, I know where my eyes stop, but I don't know where my ambitions stop. He said, a normal man sleeps for only two hours, a woman four hours, and a fool eight hours. But time came, Napoleon had to collapse. So let us look at the key other factors. Among them, the betrayal by Napoleon's generals. For example, Fuge, Bernadotte, and Teleland. So it is said when his generals, like Fuge, betrayed him, by this time they took his secrets to his enemies. Can you imagine? Of course, they had to know the tricks Napoleon was using to fight. They started using the same tricks, and this created the road uh, that led to Napoleon's downfall because he was betrayed by his friends. Another one, we are like saying Napoleon's overwhelming ambitions and the desire to control the whole of Europe. It is said one of the key reasons that helped him to get political power was ambition. Being ambitious is not bad, but by this time, Napoleon is overwhelming ambitions. He wanted to achieve so many things in life. So since he wanted to achieve so many things in life, it is this that led to his downfall. So it was a question of Napoleon's overwhelming ambitions that led to Napoleon's downfall. Since he was very ambitious, time came. He made unicalculated strategies, and by this time, he had it collapse. Then, emulation of Napoleon's military tactics by his enemies. It is said, time came, his enemies started emulating his military tactics. As they started emulating his military tactics, it is this that engineered his collapse and downfall because they started using the tactics against him and time came, he had it collapse. Then the rise of nationalism in Europe against Napoleon's foreign policy. It is said those countries where France had influence started developing love for their countries. They started rising up and challenging Napoleon. So the rise of nationalism in Europe led to Napoleon's downfall. Where we believe in this kind of arrangement that love one whose country made many countries to start challenging Napoleon and this engineered his downfall. Then the desire for liberal reforms in France. Another key aspect that led to Napoleon's downfall was the desire for liberal reforms in France. The French wanted the liberalism. They wanted the democracy and Napoleon was becoming a dictator. So by this time, the desire for liberal reforms made many French to rise up against Napoleon, and this led to his downfall. Then the suffering brought by Napoleon's foreign policy. It is said the suffering brought by Napoleon's foreign policy. For example, in the Moscow campaign, where we believe by this time many people are killed, Napoleon had recruited younger boys of 10 to 11 years to gun fight in the Moscow campaign. But what happened in Moscow, it is said many children were killed. The parents had to turn against Napoleon. So you need to understand the key issues that led to the downfall of Napoleon Bonaparte, a great star among all stars. At one time, he started collapsing. 
That's why after his downfall, the diplomats had to sit at Vienna to promote peace because Napoleon had disturbed the peace. So the diplomats had to sit at Vienna and finally, even later, they restored King Louis XVIII to control the people of France.